Mom, can we get some proofs? No, we have proofs at home. Couldn't have had a normal kid who wants approximations. No, my kid wants proofs. Unfucking believable. Mathematical community, I have finally proven the famous ABC conjecture. But Mochizuki, what kind of weird language is this? Is this supposed to be your mother tongue? Why are there arrows and squiggly things everywhere? Who's supposed to decipher this crap? Mission accomplished. No one can disprove your result if no one's able to read it in the first place. The proof is correct, trust me. I can't read. Before we can go any farther into the topic of vector spaces, we have to first consider the convergence properties of the Lebesgue integral. Are there any more questions? Yeah, uh, what the hell is a Lebesgue integral? You're a physics student, right? How can you even define a Hilbert space which you are using on a daily basis without knowing what a Lebesgue integral is? It's easy. You say, assuming the necessary assumptions, let H be a Hilbert space. And if all of the above conditions hold, then obviously A, B and C have a common prime factor. As you can probably imagine, this result is extremely trivial to prove and we won't care about all of the details here in this lecture. What the fuck is a proof? What is this arrow? Such that our extension is also a bellion. Sadly, our lecture is already over, but from all the theorems we have derived before, etc., it was really easy to state this new and really powerful theorem. And, and we are going to get into more detail and, and what this theorem actually states in the next lecture. But it was not only easy to state from all the theorems before, it's also extremely easy to prove. This is why I'm leaving it as an exercise to the lecture attendant up until the next lecture. Up until then, I'm wishing you guys a flammable day. Oh, that's an easy one. Even an engineer with no arms could see the solution immediately from a small angle away. It's obviously 5 pi squared over 24. Okay, last time we proved the fundamental theorem of engineering and can now use the powerful fact that sine of x equals x. Professor, you probably meant to say it approximately equals 2. And only for small angles. And by small I mean x being equal to 0. I'm pretty certain that I expressed my doubts about the validity of this theorem already last time around. Ah, but in this class, approximately is the same as equals. Well, approximately. Not really convincing, not gonna lie. Oh no, I can prove this. Were you sleeping again last class? Okay, here, here. What is sine of zero? Yes, I know that is going to be equal to zero. This is what I just said. Zero, exactly. It's still not the same, professor. 
Okay, now take out your calculator and plug in sine of 0.0000001. First things first, I don't even have a calculator at hand right. Never mind. I know it's going to spit out the same number, but you put in so many decimal places for sure a calculator doesn't have that high of a precision in the normal case. And even if it would have this high of a precision, this does not count as a valid proof. Actually, that's what we call proof by shut the hell up. I can prove this, I'm colorblind. Good morning class, anal 3 already comes to an end and we're going to conclude everything with your measure theory axioms. You've got three hours to work on it. Oh boy, I hope it's not going to be too hard. Proof that the following statement holds. Yes, easy points. Axiom says that we have to prove it to be true. Thus, it must be true. QE motherfucking dear. Next one. Nope, not gonna happen. Good morning class, welcome back to analytic number theory. In the last weeks we have worked extensively with the gamma function and today we would like to gather all the stuff we have done before into one big theorem, Gauss multiplication formula. And we are going to dive right in, it, it follows completely elementary from everything we have done before. I would like to start off with this easy statement 1 equals to 1 and thus it easily follows from the Pochhammer symbol that we are going to get. And it follows that we have this multiplication of sine functions. And thus it follows from relationships of gamma functions that the reciprocal gamma function can be expressed as. And now you know everything converges because of this one theorem that we have derived like 10 chapters ago. Even a fucking grade schooler could now see that follows that. Are there any more questions? 朋友是一个坚韧不拔的纪录片,在香港这座城市的社区。主演钱和乐,罗斯,福波。Sadly, this already concludes our today's lecture, and this theorem is quite powerful. It says a lot about things in mathematics. <laughs>